video games, I died. Uh, welcome to GMAT Tuesdays. My name is Kevin, and it's Tuesday. Welcome. Uh, today we're diving into more common flaws in the argument analysis portion of the GMAT, and diving into errors in causality. So this is a super common flaw, not only on the test, but just in daily life, I'm sure. If you start paying attention, you'll notice that this flaw pops up a lot because it's a natural thing for humans to do is to confuse causality of things. Um, we look for connections when we might not have a lot of reasons to believe why things might be connected. Um, so what you should be looking for uh, when you're reading through an argument is things where uh, they're talking about something leading to something else. So A leads to B or when they talk about this causing that. Um, often times it might be something like a business changes something and then they saw this result or maybe they saw another business change something and saw a result and so they want to apply it to their business. Um, these are all going to be great opportunities for you to expose a flaw in the argument. So how do you expose it? Um, well, uh, when it comes to things like if you really want to prove that A caused B, it's a really challenging thing to do and you have to eliminate all the other possibilities that exist in the world that might lead to B existing. Um, and so you can't just look and see like, oh, there's A and then I saw B and that B, uh, your reasoning, that is not sound logic. So things you could talk about, you could say, well, A and B uh, were actually caused by C. There was this other thing you didn't even know about that caused both of them. Um, or um, you could talk about how A and B often come together. They often appear at the same time. And this is when people will talk about thing, people confusing uh, correlation for causation is the common phraseology. And so people see two things and they appear sort of at the same time and they assume that one of them caused the other when really they might just be correlated. Um, another one, perhaps B caused A. Maybe it's the other way around. You just got it wrong. You saw um, the order of events differently. Um, or finally, maybe something caused B and A is completely unrelated. It just happens to be there, but is not a uh, factor in why B exists. So talking about these things in your essay will be a great way to expose these flaws. Um, there's a great example of this in uh, one of the arguments on page 807 in the 13th edition of the official guide. You can also get this information online. Uh, MBA.com publishes all of these uh, arguments online in a PDF, and so you can search for Kumquat Cafe to find this one. But basically what they say is this cafe made a good business decision because they moved locations and now they're celebrating their second anniversary. They also say that uh, there were three failed businesses at the previous location, and so ultimately Kumquat Cafe is a smart business. So what they're saying is that by leaving the location, they uh, are a good business, and they're also saying that this location led to three other businesses failing. So again, we can talk about how there's all other types of reasons why uh, those businesses might have failed. Um, they could have been poorly run. There might not have been um, a market for the things that they were selling, which all doesn't have to do with just the location itself. Um, so writing a paragraph about a couple, a uh, couple of those things will be enough to sort of expose that flaw. Finally, there are more examples that I'll let you go and look at and think about. There's one on page 801 for Saluda Natural Spring Water, and then another one on page 803. Uh, about violence in movies where they commit this flaw. All right, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, down below my feet. Um, I'll be here to answer any questions you might have, and I'll be back next Tuesday to dive into more uh, GMAT materials. If you can't wait that long, head over to gmat.magoosh.com where there's a bunch of really smart, fun uh, people who want to help you dominate the GMAT. All right. Be excellent to the universe.